I'm back again with the pastel goth palette. I want to come back and do a couple of looks with it, but today, got another tutorial. I never know what I'm going to do. I just kind of wing it. So I'm going to start off with the shade Clementine, the nice orange shade, and I'm going to blend that into my crease transition area. I am coming on fully prepared, prepped, primed, ready to go. I already did my face makeup. I'm actually doing a demo and wear test on the new Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. You'll have to check it out, see what you think. Just gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna go into that shade Skull. That nice bright white. Lots of product on there, so I'm gonna tap a little. I'm gonna take that same flat shader and that shame skull shade. And that's going to be right here. Just a little in the inner teared up area. First portion of the lid just to kind of brighten that area up just a little bit. I'm now gonna take the shade Gloom, that really, really pretty green shade here. My last tutorial, I was kind of like up here in the shadows and I feel like I wanna go a little darker and try to use them all to create as many different looks as possible to share with you guys. I'm using a MAC 248 brush. I'm gonna go back into my transition shade brush, a little bit of product, and just blend so everybody's soft. I'm gonna take, what is this particular brush code? This is a Sigma E55. I'm gonna go into the shade, what is this, Dagger? Dagger. That gray, and I'm gonna place that on the outer V area. I'm just placing it now, and then I'm gonna go in with a different brush and blend it inward a little bit. I'm gonna soften it up. So I just like to pat for placement. And also it blends the two colors as well. So I'm now gonna grab my Wayne Goss number four. It's like a smaller tapered brush. That brush, I'm just gonna tap it into the product just a little bit and blend the edges and bring it inward just a little. Okay, so I'm gonna take my transition shade again, the Clementine, and just blend. Make sure everything is nice and seamless. I'm gonna also retouch the uh, inner tear duct area with that white shade skull. All right, time for some wing liner. And then uh, we'll work on the bottom lash line. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper, do a little wingage. They look even? I think so, close enough. Let's work on the lower lash line, shall we? Taking a flat definer brush, this is my Wayne Goss number seven. I'm gonna go into the dagger shade, the gray. Bring that down to the bottom, just smoke it out. More drama, why not? So with a clean pencil brush, this is my Wayne Goss number five. I'm just gonna smudge it a bit. gonna put on a quick coat of mascara and then some falsies. I'm using 
good old trusty Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. You guys know it's my favorite. To apply some lashes, I'm going to be using my Lashes in a Box. And this is in the number 10. I'm going to apply those rather quickly. And my favorite glue that I use is the House of Lashes glue, the clear one. So I'm going to apply that and I'll be back and we'll figure out what lippy I'm going to do. Alright, so I did some lashes. Now let's do some lips. I'm going to prime my lips with my MAC Prep and Prime Lip, I think. This is just to add a little moisture and it helps your lipstick last a little bit longer. I'm going to line my lips. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Pout Liner in Primrose. It looks like this. I'm going to do a neutral lip today because the last Kat Von D look I did, the lip was a little, you know, intense. So we're going to tone it down just a smidge today. I'm going to take my Pat McGrath lips. What are these? Pat McGrath Lab Flesh Lipstick. I have one and two. So I'm first going to apply two. And then I'm going to go in with number one towards the center to give it almost that ombre look. And if you still feel that it needs a little more blending, take your finger. I feel like I want to use a little gloss. Maybe just a little. <laughs> this formula by Pat McGrath on its own is very comfortable, but I don't want it to be too matte and flat looking. So I'm just going to add a little gloss. This is the Dose of Colors in Infinitely Pink. I'm actually just going to put a little on my finger because I don't want to like mess up the applicator. And that's it. Another look using the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette. I really love working with this palette. Yes, the colors are colorful and fun, but yes, they're absolutely wearable. Super pigmented, as you can see. And I did my face makeup before my eye makeup, and I have no fallout. It's amazing. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below, and stay tuned for some more tutorials with this palette. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.